So who is to blame for the situation in Ukraine? Well, uh, perhaps you, if you're woke. That's what I found out on Twitter, according to elected representative Clay Higgins, who said, you millennial leftists who never lived one day under nuclear threat can now reflect under your woke sky. You made quite a non-binary fuss to save the world from intercontinental ballistic tweets. Now, um, it took me a bit to come to grips with that because uh, the first time I read it, I passed out. I woke up with blood streaming from my nose. The second time, I assumed that that's gotta be like an AI thing. They fed a bunch of right wing insanity into it. That's what it spit out. No, apparently, that's Clay Higgins. That's what he thinks. AOC tweeted, I've sat on a committee with this guy for years. He talks like this every day. Um, Wow, nice in the production staff. They got that tweet. I put it in super late. Anyway, uh, yeah, no. He thinks he's making a good point. It's a woke sky, which will now have uh, ICBMs because all of you had your critical race theories that combined with your Dr. Seuss's. I don't know. Ken Klippenstein said in response, I think this is how new languages begin or new cults. I'm not sure. <laughs> Talia Levin says the sky is gay. I love it. James says, uh, old man yells at rainbow. And uh, <laughs> here is the thing. Uh, this one tweet is perhaps the most insane of the, you guys are too woke, so you've put us in a situation things. But this genre is robust. Matt Walsh has tweeted, my huge fear right now is that our military hasn't had enough diversity training to prepare, this for, prepare them for this moment. You get it, he's being sarcastic. Have we recruited enough lesbians? Are our armed forces sufficiently trans inclusive? Have they confronted Christ. their white privilege? Do they know enough about systemic racism? These are the questions that haunt us all. Billionaires, give me my money, am I not being a good boy? Is Ted Cruz turned on by their recruitment videos, yes or no? <laughs> exactly, what, what sort of shoes is the M&M wearing? Anyway, these are the things that matter. Um, ben Shapiro said that the West is focused on expanding its national debt and exploding the gender binary. You can as a nation, of course, we must admit, only tackle one thing at a certain time. Uh, Wendy Rogers decided to focus on the fact that the West is trying to de-platform and de-bank Russia. That's in her <laughs> words, just as wrong as invading Ukraine. She's a politician in Arizona supported by Donald Trump and also a big supporter of Donald Trump. Now to be fair, she has also said recently that the EU is new world order tyranny and Germany's attempt to rebuild the Third Reich. So so that's something Francesca, but no, yeah, no, they Wendy, really do Wendy think Wendy Rogers the hit the shard real hard on a Sunday, let's be honest. She was, she also doesn't know how to like thread her tweets. So you just mm -hmm. gotta go to her profile. It was it got bad. It was Zelensky is a globalist, uh, i.e. Zelensky's Jewish. He's paid by Soros. It was Cray. But I do want to push back on um something uh that the little dork lit Ben Shapiro said, which is exploding the gender binary. Um I think exploding the gender binary actually would stop wars. I'm just gonna put that out there. I think if people were comfortable and free to live and love and be who they are, mm -hmm. yeah, I do think we would have less wars. Come, come and at me. I also think that if more women were in leadership positions, yeah, there'd be less wars. Actually, statistically, women in diplomacy reach more compromise. Women in positions of power, not Wendy Rogers. Don't come mm -hmm. at me with the Margaret that you had Margaret Thatcher. Honey, you had everybody, okay? You All you can come at me is <laughs> Margaret Thatcher, okay, okay, very cute. Sit down when you've got 7,000 more Mar Margaret Thatchers, okay? Yeah. Just sick of war, I'm Jesus. sick of all these. Yeah, ah. sick of it and just sick of them using the vague concept of that uh, from their point of view of what is woke as an argument that everything that is bad is bad because of that everything is good is good if we get rid of that. Uh, at a time when of course the country doing the invasion is Russia, which has been absolutely terrible to its own LGBTQ community. And activists in Ukraine are incredibly worried about what will happen to them if Russia takes over this country. It is just so obviously it's so bad faith that like I, I, my vocabulary can't actually encapsulate it. The idea that this is what you'd focus on. And then you can add in things like Tucker Carlson uh, talking Friday night about pregnant service women ruining the US military and stuff like that. No, you ask yourself if this is the room that you wanna be in. John, one last said, thing on that. Like, super, super fast, super fast. Super fast, where are the white men? Where are all the white men who should be recruited to fight? Oh, 
Sorry, they're mm. at the AFPAC cheering Putin. That's what they're doing. Yeah, what's up with that? Are they, are they woke because they're on the wrong side and yet they, they believe all the things that Matt Walsh wants to believe, it's weird. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.